Welcome to OpenMentor.net. Let us see modular programming in COBOL. If you look at this one, I have created a main para. The param name starts at the column 8. Then there are statements in this para. Then I have got another para, para 1. The paragraph names can have hyphens. It has to start from A margin. The paragraph body should start from B margin. So I have got para 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In each paragraph I am just displaying I am in para 1, 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. Just one statement. Each one is very similar to the function or procedures when you define in C or Java languages. So I have got different paragraphs with different set of statements. From the main paragraph, what I'm doing is, I say accept a number, give a number between 1 and 5. Now I say if WSA equal to 1, then perform this paragraph. I'm using the word perform. Perform is nothing but you are invoking that paragraph to execute. If this is 1, perform this para. If this is 2, perform para 2. If this is 3, perform para 3. If it is not, perform para 5. So what I'm doing is, I'm getting a number, I branch from the main paragraph, then I go to that paragraph, execute those statements, I come back. In the, after I come back from those paragraphs, now I'm saying type x, x to exit. So it, the control, depending upon the value of this number, it goes to this or this or this, it executes these lines, then it comes back here. This is one way of modular programming within the same program, going from one paragraph, branching to another paragraph, then coming back to the caller. Now let us compile this, see what happens. Let us see if there are any compilation issues. No issues, let us execute this. Now I execute this. I am going to give a number 2. It has to go to para 2. Yes, it says it is executing that display statement. I am in para 2 and it comes back. This type x this is in the main paragraph. So the control comes back to the main paragraph. So it goes to this paragraph, executes that, then it comes back to this main paragraph. Now I let me execute this once again. This time I am going to give a number 4. It goes to paragraph number 4, then it comes back. This is branching from one paragraph to another paragraph. Now what I'm going to do is the same perform statement can be used to do looping. To do the looping it's very simple. Okay. So what we are going to do is it's a very very simple statement that I'm going to do. I'm giving a number 1 to 5. Okay. Then Depending upon the number of times, the number you give, if you give number 1, this paragraph must execute one time. Otherwise, it has to execute two times. So, what I have to do is perform para 2. Towards the end, I am going to give one more thing. Okay. Perform loop para WSA times. Okay. You say perform, the same keyword perform can be used for branching to a different paragraph or it can be used to repeat when you say WSA times 5 times, that means it will loop, this is equal to a for loop for 5 times, it will execute 5 times. So I have to define a loop para. So what I am going to do is, I say loop para, let me just display hello, okay, display Hello. Okay, that's all. Just one statement. You can have any paragraph, any number of statements inside that. So you will give number one or two or three or four or five. It will execute these paragraphs. Then it will come to this one. If you give number three, it will display three hellos to you. Let us try to execute this. See what happens. Compile. Check for errors. No errors. Let us execute. Now I am going to give number 3. It goes to para 3, then it goes to the loop para, 3 times it executes that hello. 
Now let us execute once again. Now I am going to give 4. It goes to paragraph number 4. 4 times it is printing that low paragraph hello. So the same keyword perform can be used for modular programming as well as repeating a particular paragraph for n number of times. So this is modular programming as well as looping. With that we end this session. Thank you.